Hey guys, Nails here. Uh, I just have uh, some Sailor Moon stuff I want to go through, uh, through my collection and whatnot. Uh, I've been getting a lot of PMs since they saw the uh, Sailor Moon, whatchamacallit, uh, Sailor Moon uh, laser discs that I briefed through and I went pretty in depth about how big I am into Sailor Moon and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd, uh, I went and crawled through all my archive boxed up, I mean, just stuff from the 90s, just stuff I collected back when, you know, I was first getting into Sailor Moon and some other things I got in Japan, other things that I've found through, you know, other shows and stuff. So uh, it's not everything. It's not even, it, this is like a fraction of what I have, but I just kind of wanted to give you a general idea of a lot of the different kind of stuff I have just so that you can see it. So this is a wallet. Um, this is unofficial, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, I got this from Hot Topics and back in the 90s. I know Hot Topics eventually got in trouble because of this <laughs> uh, unofficial product and it was eventually all kind of yanked out. But they actually had some really cool Sailor Moon. I mean, that was a chained Sailor Moon wallet, which was pretty cool. Uh, this is a Sailor Moon uh, bag, uh, the party supplies. There's basically a party supply theme uh, and all that kind of stuff. So basically it was made by Beach, um, all the stuff, the plates and everything. Um, it is an official product, so it was officially made by Beach, but um, the, I could find no dates on it. But just by the wear on the paper, I know it's from uh, the 90s. So yeah, my uncle actually hooked me up with those. I'm not sure where he found them though. They were made in America. These are the Valentine cards from 1995. Um, they are official, uh, licensed by Deke, obviously. And uh, yeah, they, they only have a couple Valentine cards in them, nothing really special, but they're pretty cool. Uh, this is a pen I also found at Hot Topics. This actually looked like an official license because it has Deke's logo on it. Uh, almost everything back then that was official had Deke on it because Deke was the only, um, you know, obviously branch of Disney that was officially licensing uh, Sailor Moon in the United States. Um, but that one is made by World Trends. Uh, this is a child t-shirt uh, I found in 1995. Um, it's dated for 1995. Uh, it was pretty freaky buying it. I just I just told him it was for my uh, uh, nephew or niece or something like that, which I didn't have at the time. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. Um, this one is unofficial. I got this from a I ordered it off some website, some random website. I'm not sure exactly which one, but yeah, definitely not official, but I definitely got it back in the 90s. Uh, these are pretty popular. A lot of people have these. These are all the VHS tapes uh, that Deke published. These are all of them. Uh, they didn't really make too many of them, but uh, these are the ones they did publish. Obviously, there's way more American episodes of Sailor Moon than there are VHS tapes for, obviously. But these are basically, they picked the everyone's favorite episodes, you know, the beginning of Sailor Moon, the end of Sailor Moon, most of the climat climatic plots and stuff, they basically put all those on these key uh, tapes. Uh, uh, the, they're actually dated for 1995, that's when they were originally published. Uh, I believe they were published between 1995 and 1996 over the span of that period of time. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, they were these are not rare at all. They're they're pretty common. They were they were in uh, di they're in distribution for like oh man I want to say like half a decade for about five years. I think they were pulled at the end of like 1999. I believe is when they stopped publishing them. This is the uh, the little bit of the Doom Tree series. Uh, so in Sailor Moon original Sailor Moon R. Um, you know, even in Canada, before they basically, you know, the, Sailor Moon was way more popular in Canada. It just did way better in Canada on their YTV. Uh, but in America, basically, it didn't do quite as well. Uh, in America, they aired this Doom Tree series, and then, which is like the beginning, the first, you know, it's basically the first, like, I don't know, 15 episodes of Sailor Moon R. And then basically, eventually, they, uh, eventually, they, uh, started doing a bit of the uh, Black Moon Saga, uh, but they eventually, you know, that they ended up killing it after that, and Sailor Moon was canceled in the U.S. after that. Uh, this is uh, a bag I got from Hot Topics as well. Uh, I can, I can, 
I'm pretty sure it's unofficial. It has all these copyright things on it, but I'm not entirely sure. It's they're Chinese tags, so it's from China. Um, this is a tape, Unnatural Phenomena. This is from, uh, this is kind of rare. This is a, uh, a US released, I think it was released in Canada as well, by Kid Rhino. It's basically a story of, uh, uh, what, what was it? It was uh, Unnatural, it was episode 15 of the Japanese and episode 12 of America. They just do a kind of a narration of it. This is the tape. Both of these tapes were made in 1985 or published in 1995, same with the CD. Uh, these were America and Canada released. This is the Luna Rock album. Um, this was published in 1997 in Canada. America didn't get it till 1999. Uh, pretty popular. A lot of really you know, really important songs. I, I, I'm not really into the English version of Sailor Moon that much, but you know, the English collector stuff is still cool. And a lot of people that did get into Sailor Moon uh, in North America, you know, they they might be familiar with these albums. Uh, I'm not too familiar with them, but I know the Luna Rock album was something that was highly desired for a really, really long time. Uh, this is a Sailor Star's best song collection. It was published in 1996 by Nippon Columbia. Uh, it's got a lot of really, really cool songs and background songs and all this kind of stuff. I actually bought this new, but I've, you can tell I've used it a lot. I mean, this, this, is a, I, this is only one example of one of the CDs I have for a Japanese Sailor Moon album, but most of my Sailor Moon albums are all Japanese. Uh, and I, I'm just, I just pulled this one out of the big gigantic stack I have of Sailor Moon albums, just to give you an, I, an example of you know, what a Sailor Moon album is like. Uh, obviously just lyrics and stuff on the inside, nothing too special, but awesome album, one of my favorites. This is the uh, Collector's Magazine, uh, uh, Figures Collecting Magazine on 1995, I believe. Uh, yeah, this is the inside of it. Uh, this is Volume 1, Issue 11, from November 1995. And basically, this volume came out before the actual dolls actually published. Like, right before they actually released um, this collector's magazine, just letting them know that they were coming. These are, the, uh, these are comics from uh, Deutschland, or Germany. So, basically, you know, there's several different books here. Um, most of them, basically, they are episodic comics. So what they do is they screen capture the TV series itself and they'll either vector it up or whatever, whatever they did back then because they're all, they're all dated from, you know, they're all dated for 1997, 1999. This one didn't have a date on it at all. I'm not sure if this is official or not. This is both mostly um, manga from, uh, official manga art from Naoko. This is more German comic. Um, stuff. So the rest of the ones that you'll see are all German comics. But yeah, you'll see the inside. They're basically, it's just, they take they take screenshots of the TV series and then they put little comic things on it and turn an actual episode into a comic book, which is pretty cool. You see that tattoo there? That's pretty cool. So yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, my uncle actually got these for me from Germany directly, so that's how I got them. He'd always give me these big boxes of stuff. So people in Germany, I know G Germans watch YouTube as well, and a lot of other people in Europe, so I'm sure they're familiar with these or saw these back in the 90s, if they were into Sailor Moon or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, but they all came with these weird little collectible things. Some of them have little earrings, and some have little neck bands and bracelets and everything. It's kind of cool how they actually get them in the... You can't tell that they have stuff that comes with them because of how they're packaged. It's pretty cool. But, yeah. I'm not really... I say they're collectible things, but, you know, I don't... I'm not, like, trying to mint everything. You know, if there's something I want to look at, I'll just open it up and look at it. I don't really care about... I have no... I have no uh, need to republish any of this stuff. Or, you know, I would sell any of this stuff later. Okay, these are American published by official Kurocha in 1995. The publication date says 1995 due to Kurocha, but I actually didn't buy these till later. I don't think I got these till like 98 or 99. Um, I don't even know how I got them. It's some 
I don't know, stuck in the back of a warehouse somewhere and they ended up coming in to be clearanced or whatever. And I'd never actually seen them before. So, I mean, they're probably at kids' bookstores or something. That's why I never saw them. But they showed up at the store I was working at. And I was like, hell yeah, I'll buy that. So I got these two. And like I said, yeah, they were published in 1995 by Kodocha uh, America. And then this thing I got from... I think like Sam's Club or something like that. Sam's Club or Pace or whatever they're called back then, one of those warehouse things. Uh, it's, you know, one of those classic sound books. Um, all the art in it was redrawn by um, a guy named Rod Voss. Uh, it was published in 1996. And the, I don't, the, the batteries have worn out on it, but they're pretty easy to replace. It, it still works perfectly fine. The, the sound effects are really, really annoying though. Um, this is Age Magazine, September 10th, 2008 volume. Um, obviously you look at it like, why the heck are you showing us this? So you'll find out right now. They did this very rare spread where basically they're showing you how to do girl styles, uh, uh, style your hair like uh, senshi. And uh, you know, pretty much for every inner senshi they do here. And you can see it, and at the bottom you can kind of see it, they go over it. If you want more information on this, or see better scans of these, um, I have them up on the subreddit of Sailor Moon. Uh, just go there and search on Age Magazine, you'll find it in like two seconds. <clears throat> uh, these are just random, unofficial stickers. None of these are official at all. I don't think I've ever seen official Sailor Moon stickers. <clears throat> so you'll see you'll see several clear. But obviously when you're going to do a comic book store, I think I got all these from a local uh, uh, Mile High Comics is what they call it here in Colorado. Just some random one way up north that I found and they had all this anime shit laid all over and one of my friends like alerted me he's like dude they got anime stuff all over this table oh, I don't even know what any of it is but you gotta come and I went up there and that's where I found like all these little unofficial posters and just most of it was like unofficial crap unofficial bootlegged Sailor Moon crap and they were just giving it away for nothing um, these are the Cardzillion cards. I'm not sure if many of you are into these. These were put through the little Toys R Us machines, Cardzillion, in 1995. Um, so Series 1 was from 1996, and uh, Series 1 and 2 was from 1996. Um, so this, this is Series 3 here on the right that's flipping open now. So Series 3 was 1997. And then I have an unknown series at the end. They're officially published by Bandai, and they did come out of the Cardzillion machines. Um, you'll see me put my hand up here that kind of that'll kind of separate them um, these are pretty expensive I mean each card was like 50 cents you had to put two quarters into this thing just to get one card and I have hundreds of these so you get an idea of how many how much money I spent to get all these cards these weren't like you buy a collector pack that comes with 15 cards or something these are those Bandai ones that have they're you know they're they're copyrighted for 1995 but I don't I have no idea what the published date is so um, this is uh, basically uh, the Irwin Canadian doll uh, of Black Lady. Uh, it was made in 1997. Um, it has French and Amer English on it, but this was pretty much a Canada-only product. There was no... I don't think these ever got released in America. There was a different spawn of them that got released in America, but some of these didn't. I have several of these. Uh, I only felt like unboxing one just to give you guys an example. Um, these are Shitajiki. Um, they span basically from, oh geez, I've been collecting these from like 1995 until present pretty much. You know, whenever I'm at a con, which I don't really go to cons that much anymore, or I see a cool Shitajiki online that I've never seen before that's very unique. I mean, you have to understand there's literally thousands of Sailor Moon Shitajiki. For anyone that doesn't know what Shitajiki is, they're uh, Japanese pencil boards. Uh, students use them, like actually use them. They put them underneath their paper. What you're seeing is Japanese standard litter size paper. Um, it's, it's a bit smaller than American. Um, so basically they put them underneath because a lot of the desks, and, uh, you know, just like American desks, they have like scratches and dents in them. So, so that they don't rip their paper and mess it up. They put Shitajiki underneath them to uh, pencil boards to, uh, so that they can draw straight. Obviously they get worn out later, but Shitajiki is a very popular collector's item. <laughs> You'll see on the back of this one, this is like old Sailor Moon cosplay. Uh, they did a play thing, like an actual like play on stage thing uh, with music and stuff before the, uh, 
live Sailor Moon series came out. So that's pretty pretty cool. These are uh, these are the first two Sailor Moon posters ever released in the United States. Probably Canada too. I'm not sure exactly. I bought these from Walmart. Um, the dates on them is 1995. That was their publication date. But very. I, I don't put. I didn't want to feel like putting them out. But basically, that's what those were. Um, these are glasses I actually got recently. These are uh, silhouettes, glass silhouettes. Definitely unofficial, definitely not licensed, but, you know, who cares? Um, I got these from uh, ETSY.com. Uh, you can find, I mean, there's just you just type in Sailor Moon on the search and you'll just find 800 billion things that people make Sailor Moon-wise. And, you know, a lot of it's kind of like, cheapo crummy stuff and sometimes once in a while you'll see something like this where it's just really really high quality very well done and the, the guy made these um, by hand so they're, they're they're pretty awesome so I had to get them it's a backer there so you can see the silhouettes a little bit better but it's basically the five inner senshi and last but not least um, we have a uh, my only cell. I only have one Sailor Moon cell. I, I've I've been tempted to buy a lot of Sailor Moon cells, but I've never really felt like it. This is a uh, I actually got this from a friend. This is the official cell background and tracer. Um, so it's it's actually it's actually pretty valuable. Um, this is from uh, episode 15 in Japan, episode 45 in North America, Sailor Moon R. Uh, basically, you know when she gets her powers back in Sailor Moon R, kind of thing. Uh, this is kind of like one of those scenes. I'm not sure if this exact scene was in or not. I I, I don't remember. I, I I haven't gone through and paused on that exact scene ever. I have I've never taken the time. This is actually I'm showing pictures because I didn't feel like pulling it out of my archives and stuff. I just I just got stuff that's all over. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, hope I'm gonna post some more stuff later. Thanks.